Good morning, Father. Good morning, Millie. Father, do you know what I would really like for my birthday? What is it, dear? Well, there's this beautiful horse being held at the country club, and I... Millie, I can't afford a horse. But you don't have to pay for it all at once, and her name's Serafina. Isn't that like the hand of God? But I can't. And she's on sale. I'll take good care of her, I promise. And my friend Captain Sig uh, Sigurna is giving us the lowest price. Who? You really doubt my skill, Mr. I never do, Sigara. You've been talking to my daughter Millie lately. It seems you planted some idea in her mind about a horse, among other things. Ah, yes. Millie. She has such nice skin. She tells me many things about you. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, Mr. Rowe. Things about... What has she been telling you? Things about torturing people and that you have a cigarette case made out of... Human flesh. He's the chief of police and gives me a ride to school every day. What? Uh, Millie, business is too bad. I can't... Oh, please let me get the horse, Father! Please, I've already bought the saddle and everything. What good is it without a horse? I'll just hang it on my wall and look at it every day. Formals. We've just got radio in from London. They want full profiles of all the agents you've hired in Havana by morning. And they've just requested more blueprints of those atomic weapons you reported in the jungles. Alright, Millie, you can have a horse. Oh, thank you, Father. 